In this video we shall compare the new creatures and new titans that were seen in Godzilla vs Kong. We will compare the final designs of these monsters with the concept art, the original ones that were totally different. We will see what they were planned to look like versus how they turn out. A shout out to IAMAG.co, this website, for the collection of these amazing artwork by artists such as Xander Smith, Matt Millett and Kyle Brown. Now let's compare these side by side and decide for ourselves which ones are better. Number 1. Arachna Claw In terms of general appearance, the Arachna Claws resemble giant spiders, albeit heavily armored with small faces and crab-like pincers. Their carapaces resemble rocks most likely evolved as a form of camouflage. They were around 10 to 15 feet tall and dwelt in rocky landscapes only coming out to the surface when the land is disturbed by larger creatures. In the concept art, the design of these creatures didn't change much which means that their original look was appreciated and accepted into the movie. They had hard carapaces and had six legs with two gigantic pincers that are shielded with a rocky exoskeleton. In some artwork, the carapace has a heavy grey stone covering which would provide it with extra camouflage and armor. These creatures were supposedly bigger, around 25 to 30 feet in height, double the final versions. Number 2. The Hellhawks The Hellhawks are aggressive predatory creatures that inhabit hollow earth. Like bats, they prefer to inhabit caves and dark caverns and spend their time hanging upside down from the ceiling. Hellhawks resemble giant bats with vulture-like heads, talons, leathery wings and armored backs covered with thin strands of hair-like feathers and they were around 9 to 10 feet tall. In the concept art, these flying creatures were a lot bigger, around 50 to 60 feet tall and with a wingspan of maybe 200 feet across. They have blue eyes and were more robust with wings that grew out of the hands and their five fingers were present and still unchanged into parts of their wings. Their backs were more armored and the talons and claws were as big as a single aircraft. In our opinion, a flock of these would have given Kong a run for his money in the throne room. Number 3. The Hollow Earth Lizard Hollow Earth Lizards are large reptilians being greyish black in coloration with rows of spikes and osteoderms covering their back, likely as a means of defense from other predators within the Hollow Earth. Their heads are stubby and jaws filled with sharp teeth. Their eyes are almost forward facing similar to any modern predatory species. And their eyes also possess a bony ridge above their eye socket similar to crocodilians. In the concept designs of this Hollow Earth Lizard, it is shown that they were more menacing in looks, something which would have been more than just fawn of a new world but actual monsters that would scare the crap out of you. It is seen to have a face similar to Angiris with a very spiky body with sharp osteoderms. It is also slimmer and looks to be fast and agile. Its tail is also spiked and all the way to the end of the tail where we can see a club form as a means of attack or of defense. Number 4. The Warbats Warbats are large reptilian serpentine creatures being grazed in coloration and equipped with two red membranous wings running down from the top half of its body supported by long spines which are extensions of the rib cage. Their torso is similar to that of a snake being long and slender and warbats resemble a cobra. The bottom half of the torso has ventral scales further adding to the resemblance of a snake. Warbat blood is green light in coloration and also they could fly. There are a couple of warbat concept designs, one which has a slimmer look to the monster with a tail that seemingly has some sort of electrical powers. The warbat here has its wings grown from the body and attached to its to six prehensile limbs that look like spines coming out from the ribcage all from the sides of the body. The other design however resembles the final one but is more robust and heavier looking and actually has a split jaw with a tail that has two spikes that are or maybe outgrowths which could be used as stings. And number 5. Mecha Godzilla This mecha looks like it has a skeletal appearance, albeit that of Godzilla's. It sports a series of short metal plates resembling that of the dorsal plates of the G-Man running from the back of its neck all the way down to the tip of its tail. Its forelimbs are considerably longer and bulkier with four zygodactyl claws which it can use to grab things or punch Godzilla with them. Its feet resembles that of Ghidorah's and also a little bit having the frame of Godzilla's. Its tail has a drill mountain on its tip which could be a dangerous weapon. 
Like the Warbat, there were two designs for Mechagodzilla, the concept designs that is. One of which shows a very basic robotic design without spikes or dorsal plates or anything of that sort resembling the G-Man except for the dinosaur posture and the big tail. The second art shows the same one but being covered in armor and a thicker skeletal looking exoskeleton but was still totally different from the final version. This one looked like an early dinosaur model but covered in armor and fragile metal parts. It would have been sluggish and non-threatening to even look at. So that's why it wasn't accepted into the final form. And so with that we come to the end of the video on the comparison of the concept and final designs of the creatures of Godzilla vs Kong. Subscribe, like and smash that bell button for regular updates on new monster content right here on this channel. Till the next one, take care fam.